Ladies and gentlemen, your following contest is quarterfinal number four. Three by three minute rounds. Fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Darren Kurovic and coach Yo Kalsuk Muay Thai out of Western Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, an official weight of 69.7 kilograms, 71 fights, 50 wins, three draws, five coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Western Australia by way of Thailand, ladies and gentlemen, Kong, Thailand, Kalsuk Muay Thai. And across the ring is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, trained by Chris Forster, out of the Venom training camp, with an official weight of 69.6 kilograms, 30 fights, 20 wins, nine coming by way of knockout, representing Iran, he is the Iron Hands of Iran, Mohammed Siasarani. <laughs> with the action being injured, man in charge is Abbas Samani, both fighters can seal the ring. The tail of the tape for quarterfinal number four. Between Sia Sarani and Kong Thailand. Kong Thailand, six years the elder, two centimetres the taller. 71 fights for the Thai, 30 pro fights for the Iranian. Quarterfinal number four is underway. Michael Chevello, Mark the Hammer, Castanini with you. Iran versus Thailand. Sia Sarani versus Kong Thailand. Sia Sarani in the black. Sia Sarani, orthodox. Kong Thailand, obviously left handed, as there's so many ties up. Sia Sarani is going to want to step to his left, throw to right. And again, they're starting very slowly, hammer. Like it's a five round fight. Very, very slowly. The winner will take on Hugh O'Donnell in semi final number two. One, one. And even the referee, Abbasamadi, says, let's get some more work rate. Both are dipping their toes in the water. Just measuring distance. Kong Thailand will be counter fighting predominantly. He'll wait for Sia Sarani to do something and try and slip counter, take advantage uh, of his missed time. Let's see if Sia Sarani can live up to his nickname, the Iron Hands of Iran. And that's really where he has to uh, back himself in this one. Kong Thailand is uh, such a credible fighter and probably one of the threats in this tournament from the internationals for mine. Sia Sarani, obviously uh, training out of the Venom camp, such a hard training camp in Thailand. Referee cautioning them both uh, to increase the work rate. A bass is looking just looking upset that they're not fighting. <laughs> we love a Basamadi. $25,000 for the winner. Money could go a long way in Thailand, where both these men live. Kong Thailand, nice little step across the outside thigh kick. I didn't reach advantage, obviously, going the way of the tie, and that kick getting to the head as easily off the lead leg, indeed. His testament to how he uses that reach. Sia Sarani catch and counter off the right. Both men tumble, so to our referee, takes a spill. Kong Thailand turning up the aggressor meter. The hands are a little low on the Iranian. Kong Thailand, obviously, at uh, Kao Sok Muay Thai in WA, with Darren Kurovic and the team. A big Boy, shout out to all watching from Kao Sok. Sia Sarani said he wanted Kong Thailand. He's got him, but he's not doing much here, Hammer. He's not fighting like he wants him. He needs to get in. Oh, a crescent kick there. Beautiful. Love to see stuff that's oh. different, that is effective. And the Kong Thailand, potentially one of the threats in this tournament. Sia Sarani has had a horrible opening round. Oh, oh he gets tagged. That's he what I was tagged. talking about. He'll draw fire and then counter. Draw and counter. Kong Thailand. Just making a miss, making...
two. Second round, quarterfinal number four, Sia Sarani losing the first round. Kong Thailand exuding confidence. Southpaw versus Orthodox, and Southpaw jabbing. Now switches to Orthodox, it's Kong Thailand. Rocks the head back of the jab, a high right round. Aggression early on from Kong Thailand, forearm across the throat. Sia Sarani's got to do something here. Lots of smiles, lots of posing from the Iranian. But no aggression, no onslaught. Needs to break range, Sia Sarani. Get on the inside. He's got big shoulders, possesses some good boxing, but just needs to get in there. Gong Thailand just controlling distance. Such a such a high fighting IQ. You can see the tie. He's calm, he's composed. He's trying not to sustain too much damage. Hands down now, danger. But confident in his ability is Gong Thailand. Putting on a show for all on hand here at the Melbourne Pavilion at this sold out Rebellion card. 145 remains, second round. Some slightly better signs from Asia Sarani. Still looking very stiff though. Hasn't really gotten out of first gear, the Iranian. Gong Thailand looking to set up a spinning back fist potentially. A spinning elbow. I, seen him, I, I just was reading his, his, his uh, body language there. He's looking, setting that lead leg across, which is generally your base move in a spin. So he's going to try and perhaps catch Sia Sarani coming forward with a spin, which has often paid dividends for many a fighter. Sia Sarani not phasing Kong Thailand with his hands at all. Good jab too there from Kong Thailand. Catch. Counter. Sia Sarani unable to affect anything, having caught the right leg. Absolutely putting on a show, these two. Sia Sarani doing it the hard way though. Kong Thailand supremely confident and just looking to get through to the next round in his mind. But again not being able to dispose of the opponent. Neither man coming close to a knockout. Abbas Amadi, another warning. That's Amadi, he will take a point off if they don't engage. Sia Sarani seemingly has no game plan here. Just confounded by the movement and erratic strategy of Gong Thailand as they trade above our commentary position and locks him down Gong Thailand two down one remaining quarterfinal number four that's in a round at number two Third and final round, Kong Thailand in control. All for Sia Sarani to do. Jab from Kong Thailand out of orthodox stance. Jab to the body. Sia Sarani's hands are low when he's coming in, the chin exposed. Very stiff fighter, Sia Sarani. He needs to get in and he needs to let his hands go. But his chin comes up when he boxes, and that's always going to be a danger against a rangy fighter like Wong Thailand, who has such good head movement and good evasion. Relaxed in his style, very evasive in his movement. Outside leg from Sia Sarani, and again, 
Won't really face Cotton Thailand. Ciarani. Doesn't use any fake Ciarani. He throws. Always, he should fake his way in. Try and preempt something from Gong Thailand and then unload. He's just so stiff when he comes in, Hammer. Just a robot. Yeah, big, big occasion for Sia Sarani. This is a huge fight for him. Perhaps nerves have, have played a part here against such a credible tie as well. So not only has he stepped onto the big stage here on this Rebellion card, which he's always wanted to be a part of, but against a very, very formidable opponent. So uh, the occasion is huge, and perhaps that's uh, confounded Sia Sarani's usual flow a little. As he lets him go! Finally, pulls the trigger on the right hand to Sia Sarani. Let's go, come on, come on, out, out, turn! Kong Thailand takes an outside lead kick. Sia Sarani will need to dig deep. He's lost the first two rounds. Resets here the Iranian. Kong Thailand in southpaw starts. Front kick doubles up on it. The Iranian has one minute to get it done here because he is down, no doubt, on the scorecards. And he's really just got to throw caution to the wind now. Because standing there trying to fight a tactical fight is not going to be good for him. There is too much caution and absolutely no wind for Sia Sarani. Beautiful popping left there from Kong Thailand. Back to Southpaw starts the tie. Gets out of the way of the right hand of Sia Sarani. Half a minute to go. Are we going to the distance again? That would make three of the four quarterfinals. The freshest man going into the semi-finals would have been the first man through. Matthew Stevens, who knocked out Damon Nelson in one round. Every other quarterfinal has gone the distance, including this one. Well, there it is. The last quarterfinal has been run. After three rounds of action, we head to the judges' scorecards for a decision. We have a unanimous points winner. Your winner and moving through to semi-final number two, Blue Corner, Kong Thailand! Kong Thailand goes through.